today is the eighth day of India's 21 day lockdown due to the coronavirus pandemic. The total number of coronavirus cases in India as of this morning has crossed the 1600 mark. Let's do a three point analysis to understand what are the various stages of the coronavirus spread and where does India stand right now. 1. Is India entering stage 3? Well, as per the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India has 1466 active cases, 132 people have been cured while 38 people have died as per the data. Of this, Mumbai alone has recorded 302 cases, the maximum number of cases in India and 9 deaths. The Indian Council of Medical Research continues to maintain that there is no evidence of community transmission in the country yet. But preparations across the nation in various states to scale up the health infrastructure is in full swing to be able to deal with the potential stage 3 outbreak. Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal in a press briefing had also said and I quote, we are ramping up our capacity for an eventuality of 1000 daily positive cases for testing, treatment and isolation, unquote. Two, stages of the coronavirus spread. Stage 1 is when the disease does not spread locally. In fact, cases reported are of people who have had a travel history to an already affected country. Stage 2. This is the stage of local transmission, when people who have brought the virus into the country transmit it to people who they come in contact with, usually friends and family. At this stage, one can still trace the spread and quarantine these people. Stage 3 is community transmission, when the source of the infection is untraceable, when cases with no travel history or direct contact to the diagnosed cases start coming in large numbers. Then we take it as a beginning of a community spread. In case of a community rise, numbers start rising exponentially. Once this stage is reached, it is extremely contagious and very difficult to control. Stage 4. So far, China has been the only country to experience stage 4, where spread is practically uncontrollable and there are many major clusters of infection all over the country. Now, according to the government, currently India is largely reporting all those cases that are either having a travel history to virus hit countries or contact uh, history with any infected person, which is stage 2. 3. Flattening the curve. Well, latest government data has also suggested how the enforcement of a strict nationwide lockdown hints at flattening of the curve. While both the state and the centre governments are working on a war footing to contain this kind of a spread, they have been under severe criticism from healthcare professionals over the scarce availability of adequate medical gear, equipments, testing kits, etc. An area of particular concern right now that has emerged with respect to community transmission in the recent days is the mass exodus of migrant workers from various cities in the country. Haunting images of large crowds waiting to board buses or even walking to their hometowns have raised fears of a community spread. Also, the recent gathering of as many as 3,500 3, people at a religious conference at Nizamuddin in the national capital is threatening to turn the area into the biggest COVID-19 hotspot in the country and could trigger a tide of infections in several states. Now, the centre and state do face the challenge of pan-India contact tracing and containment. Mm -hmm.